So, so there's something that was curious to me that I wanted to ask you, and it's about light. Oh, and yeah. how are you? How are you on light? Light is a pain in the ass. <laughs> Tell you what. Why is that? Uh, because it just can't make up its fucking mind <laughs> what it's doing. What do you mean? Um, oh, I mean, like from the from the quantum perspective of just like, is it a wave? Is it a particle? And all the tests that have been done over the years, and it's like it's both. And it's a particle that travels so, in wave form. I'll talk to you about it in a little bit. <laughs> Just clarify it for but me. Just so you, like, just so you yeah. understand. Yeah. Um, I do need to catch up, I guess. Yeah. Uh, are you excited how, how we've created to see what this particle looks like? Oh, yeah. I, I you saw seem to know image. about this stuff before everybody. Uh, some of the stuff I find out from you. Yeah. I'm going to know a little bit. But yeah. What do you think about it? Um, it came out during Thanksgiving, which I wasn't in the country. And this when I probably blew my knee and got food poisoning. So I still have like two weeks of news to catch up on. But from what I understand from my friend who posted about it, uh, who he's a physicist and I'm trying to remember exactly what he said about it, but like, it's not, it is a snapshot of it, but apparently the word snapshot he has issue with on the research paper that they use to make because it seem snapshot like it's, is, yeah, it's like it's really a recreation. It's not a snapshot. Right. Um, so that's really so far as much as I really know about it. I still need to dig into it, but I know there's like a little beef going on with the word choices. Sure. Yeah. Cause there always is like spin. They hate that word. It's like, stop using it. Instead of rotate? Uh, <laughs> there's no word for it because it's like a quantum behavior. That's We use the word spin because it's the easiest word that we have to kind of make but why, it relatable. Cause it's cause, cause it, what's, what, what is it instead of spin? Or like without a word, what, you, what is it? Because it's, it's not it's, consistent enough like a spin is? From a mathematical standpoint, it's in like all places at once until it collapses, the wave collapses. Like that's, it's basically everywhere. <laughs> and then it decides. What is it? Uh, the particle, but whatever we're talking about, yeah. it can be a few of them, but, um, well, I wanted to ask you a question about light that I don't think is as complicated as what you're talking about. Okay. I don't, um, <laughs> what is it? Light? No, no. Um, my question is, so light, a photon, I think we should say photon instead of light, right? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So a photon is created in a star. Right. Yes. Now, doesn't it take like because it, it it's it it's it is it bounces off things, right? Yes. So like the, the photon is created in the core of a star, and then by the time it leaves the star, it might have been millions of years. Is that true? Because it keeps like get things get get in the way and it bumps into things. You mean for from like it's been inside the star the whole time yes. or traveling before oh. it leaves the star? It takes a long time for it to leave the star because it keeps bumping into things on the way out. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's all bumping into each other. So which means that photons bump off of each other and other things and could be redirected. But how come this is not my question? This is a separate thing. But how okay. come when I turn a flashlight on, it doesn't bump off? It, light can't turn corners. I mean, you could see it from the corner. It, I mean, it does bump off. What do you mean? Like, so the fact that you can see it means it's bumping off. That's that's the that's the uh, the conundrum I'm coming across. So okay. if I were to put a flashlight here, yeah. like light bounces off, and you could I could I could see that light, but is that yeah. light now coming to me? Yes. Yeah. Got it. It has to hit your eyeballs for you to see it. But then when it does, where it, ha it goes away? Uh, it goes into your eyeballs. And then what? Um, that I'm not entirely sure. I know it has to do with an energy transfer with electrons or something like that, but where it goes, I don't actually know that one. Because it, it's always bouncing off shit until it doesn't. Yeah. And the bouncing off is my, what's curious to me because uh, I don't really understand this, but like colors yeah. are just, it's just light refracting off of this. In different ways for right. different colors, yeah. Right, so certain flowers that are blue, blue is on the opposite end of the spectrum as a flower that is red. Yes. Right? Yeah. So the red takes in less or more energy. Um, so is it a, you're saying it's a red flower? Red flower versus blue flower. The red flower is absorbing everything except red. So it's reflecting the red. So it's not absorbing that color because that's what you're seeing. So how could this blue yeah. and this red, which are, as far as I'm concerned, made out of the same stuff. Yeah. How come this one is reflecting, absorbing blue and this one isn't? It has to do with the makeup of the material the thing is made out of. So like whatever those like little stickers are. So colors aren't really colors. Colors are just material that do or don't absorb light. Yeah, yeah. So here is what's crazy to me. When the lights are off, yeah. we can't see stuff. It depends how dark it truly is. But pitch black, we don't see anything. So it's is it that we can't see the colors 
Or in black, are there literally no colors because there's no light to bounce off of it? Well, it depends on what you consider color, right? Because you're talking about the visible light spectrum. I'm talking about the visible light spectrum. That's We're not it. talking We're not infrared talking about it. or ultraviolet. I'm uh, talking yeah. right here. If there's no visible light, as in you can't see anything and there's nothing emitting anything, then yeah, the room's probably black. So it's not like, so when, the, so when all the lights are off, this red, it's not that I can't, just for infrared purposes, why don't we say yeah. green? This okay. green, it's not that I can't see the green. It's that the green doesn't even exist until the light is on. Yeah, yeah. I just think that's crazy. I know. <laughs> like if a tree yeah. falls in the woods and nobody's there to hear it, yes, it makes a noise. But if the light is off and there's no light to see the green. Yeah. Did you shrug like this on that on that tree <laughs> fall thing? Yeah, because that's actually, that's like a joke that we all still have that we're like, but that's a, is that true? Of, of course it makes a noise. If it's a simulation, then there is no noise. It being what, life? Yeah, like this whole thing. Okay. <laughs> I know. Well, I mean, that nobody talked about it until, I don't know, three years ago. And now people have been talking about it since the Matrix. No, no, no. But I mean, really trying to figure out if it's true or not, really cracking it down. And mathematicians are now like 50 50. Yeah. Scoot doo. Blabbity blue. Scoot 